can't get close So I'm losing excuses for all that I am I live with the bruises to become a man Hey guys, this is Spark Velocity Tree here, and this is What If Asta Had Kashimo Hajime Powers Lightning Strikes. And I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. Over 400 years ago, there was a sorcerer that lived in the rising sun or the land of the sun. The man was called Kashimo Hajime, and his home country was Hino Country. The era he was in was the Silver Age of Magic. He was the strongest there was in the era of Hino Country. But every time he fought a brutal fight, every single time, he got bored, feeling no fun in fighting people that were weaker than him. And Kashimo was feeling empty. He never felt any joy about beating these men, but people look at him for reason or some sort of way to get a start. Kashimo was at his old age and finished off another magic user with just his strength and power alone. And then there was a man that came across Kajime Hajime. Kashimo then says, Who's there? And then the man says, Greetings. Kashimo was looking at him to leg to head and down again. If you want to fight me, <coughs> seeing blood coming out of his mouth, <laughs> gonna die in 10 seconds. And the man says, Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to tell you another person. And then Kashimo says, Who is it? Then the person says, The man was named Ryu Ishigora. He has the biggest large amount of magic there is to this history. And Kashimo then dismay him. Hmm, I'm not interested. Then the man says, Hmm. What do you desire, Kashimo? The lightning god? And then Kashimo looks at it. I want to fight the strongest. Who is the strongest? And then the man says, Well, Ryu. When you said that, Kashimo then says, I mean, who is the strongest? Looking at him with a straight face of not hesitating of fear or lack of tension. And the man says, My, you really aren't that greedy. <sighs> Fine. And Kashimo says, hmm, You underestimate my king eye. I don't look at others for no reason. You must always judge their character. And I see, especially from a man that's in a cloak, that I can't see his face. Who are you? And then the man reveals his face, not showing his hair. And then Kakuma smirks and says, So, one of the members of the Yoda, huh? And then one of the member clan says, hmm, It's been a while, Kakuma, but I have a unseen prophecy. And then Kashima looks at him. I don't care about prophecies. And then Ryoda then says, Oh, but you are our match, Kashima. And Kashima then stops and looks at him. And Ryoda then says, 
these simple words, there's gonna be many magicians that get even stronger. Stronger than ones that you fought before in the Edo and passion of curious and also exciting. But when Kashima was having a good time, Ryoda says there's also one member that you are not aware of. And Kashima then says, what do you like? And then Ryoda says, a member, a person that has liked me, that has a unique trait of having a merged with it and Kashima then says interesting then Ryoda says this if you want to face him you're gonna get have to be resurrected and Kashima then smirks and says <laughs> it doesn't matter if a person can resurrect me is it my will and then Ryota then says, hmm, depends. I can't see that far in the future. But would you face Ryuta to Shigura and I will make that promise. And then Kashima then looks at him and then shaking his hand and says, I'll be I'll face strongest any strong person. Face have to be that answer. Then Kashima goes to Ryu Ishigura and the old man himself looks and gets into a one breath and looks at the sun and feel that wind breeze and says, I'll face that strong person. And then Kashima then go to Ryu Ishigura to fight him. But then we get to the future, to the today present that is now in the Clover Kingdom. Two baby boys that were in the Clover Kingdom that were on the church side steps. Two were crying in the middle of the night. Then Father Orai then opens the door and sees two boys. One was Yuno and the other was Asta. Asta's hair was a mix of lightest blue and the other mixed with a grayish color. And Asta was in a deep sleep while he was in it. And Father Orai was smiling to see you know and Asta and Arai tries to tickle Asta but when he does that Asta's eyes open and his then a electric shock comes forth and shock Orai a bit and Orai says ow mm, mm, that hurt a bit but I hardly doubt that was magic it was probably something else. Then Asta smiles and when Father Alright tries to play with Asta a bit, Asta gave Alright a strong kick to the face and Alright says, oh, you have some strength there Asta and Alright was happy to see Asta and you know and bring them in to the church. At five years Asta was his same self, being brash and pretty much loud personality, but a uh, determination. And you know, was the same as usual. And then when you know was the village gonna get some goods or whatever, and Asta was waiting for him and all the others from the church. But when Asta was looking for him, you know was in a sad state and Asta says hey Yuna what's the matter and you know says it's nothing 
and Oz still looks at him with his blue eyes and says, Stop lying! There's something wrong! Then Asta looks and sees his necklace is gone. Your necklace? It's gone! Who took it? And Yuna says, it's nothing special, Asta. And Asta says, no! Didn't someone, didn't your parents give it to you? And Yuna says, leave it. And Asta says, no! I'm going to take, get it back! And Asta goes to get Yuna's necklace. And then... Asta found the men who took Yuno's necklace and says, Hey, give it back! Get back Yuno's necklace! And then the men says, Nah, sorry kid, but I'm going to pawn this off. Money. And Asta was angry. And then Asta charged his for trying to get Yuno's necklace. But he was pushed off. By the man. And Asta's eyes were filled with determination to get it back. And then his body felt comfortable putting a position that's similar to a martial art, that's similar to fist first. Then the man says, <laughs> What matter? What's with the strange pose, kid? Did your head got knocked? A few, few centuries, and Asta looks at him with determination, and his eyes were sparking. <clears throat> Come on, I'm gonna get it back! His eyes were filled with electricity, brim with pure energy of lightning, and Asta gets up close, and then puts his fist in front of the man's stomach, and says, Alright, you asked for it. And electricity comes forth. And Asta did a electricity one inch punch. And shocking the person, the man that has Yuno's necklace. <laughs> and Asta says, hmm, never underestimate me. And Asta then walks to the man. But the other guy tries to stop him. But Asta swiftly and quickly disarmed and used his electricity to neutralize him. And Asta says, my mind is even faster than before. I'm already getting excited. But Asta then looks at the man, give it back and grabs the necklace. And Asta then goes back to the church and gives the necklace back to you now. And over 10 years have passed, Asta was training on his hand-to-hand -hand combat and working on his lightning magic that's surrounding his body. You know, has his magic and is pretty good at it. Then both Asta and you know go to the, get their grimoires. And that's where I'm ending this video. I hope you like this video and hope you subscribe. See you next time, plus Ultra.